Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the calculus of deviation. Uh, we will see all those questions asked in the CSNA 2019 mathematics. Every year, every year, the calculus of the two or three questions at least will ask in the uh, in this examination. So you should take care of this with this shortcut tricks in this video. So we will see how you can solve the first question, which is related to finding the extremals with some boundary conditions are given to you. So whenever there is extremal questions are there, you always start with the Euler equation. What is that? This is partial derivative of f with respect to y minus d by dx of partial derivative here. This is always with there. This is my f. But you can see that this equation is independent of x. So whenever there is an independent of x, either you can use this value or else you can simply use this value are here for the shortcut purpose p partial derivative of this is here now this is a constant this is a zero this is constant now you can substitute this value this is y square this is y dash square minus y dash what is the partial derivative of this of this with respect to y dash this is nothing but my two uh, two y square of y dash is my constant c so what is that this is y square y dash this is y square so it will be minus y square y dash square is constant or you can take negative on the other sides that will be another constant so I call as a a so what is that this is y y dash is my root of the a as another constant b so what is that this is y dy is d dx now if you integrate them what will happen this is b square is y square by 2 plus of c apply the boundary conditions y of 0 is 0 what is the meaning of that c is 0 y of 1 is 1 what is the meaning of that b is nothing but my half so what is the solution of this problem y square by 2 is x by 2 y is nothing but my root of x and your target is to find the value of y is 5x y 5x is 1 by 4 what is the right answer is here is the right answer so you can simply remember from here look at the another question is there which is again related to extremal now in this case this is my f this is the boundary condition is given to you you have to find the extremals along with the natural boundary condition what is the boundary conditions are there boundary condition means if i consider this as small f then it will be f second derivative will be zero at the end points what are the end points are here there's a zero and the one it means whatever the answer is there at x is 0 and at x is 1 is 0. Now firstly you can solve them. What is the f is y double dash square minus of 2y. What is the second derivative of what is the derivative of this? 2y double dash is 0. So it means y double dash 0 is 0 and y double dash of 1 is 0. And the two conditions are here. Now based on this we can start with the Euler equation. Partial derivative with respect to y. So it will be minus of 2 d by dx of now it's just now okay i can write for you here since it's a second derivative so we can extend them as of here so it's a minus it's a plus of y double dash and if it is a y triple dash then you can write as a minus d cube and so on is here now, now this one so you can substitute the value this value is zero this value is my what is the second derivative is my two y double dash what is the derivative of this? What is the second derivative of this is nothing but my fourth derivative of this is a zero. What is the meaning of that? Y fourth is my one. So what is that? If you if you integrate four times, so look at that. This is nothing but my C uh, sorry x plus C one. What is the second derivative is x square by two plus C one x plus of C two. What is the first x cube by six? plus c1 x square by 2 plus c2 x plus c3 and what is the y is finally x4 by 24 c1 upon 6 x cube c2 x square by 2 c3 x plus of the c4 now once you apply the y0 of 0 the y c4 will be 0 once you apply the y1 but you are unable to now the, now there are the three conditions are there but there is no need to uh, simplify these three conditions what you can do is you can look at the options everywhere is x by 24 is common so if you keep x x by 24 is common from this what will happen this is x cube 4 c1 x square plus 12 c2 x 
plus 24c3. Now you can check that which one y of 1 is 0, satisfied, 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 satisfied. But you can see this value is not be true because its coefficient is, you can see this coefficient is x square but I, I, it's a x, x square can't be common out. It means second option is discard. Now you can check about that. So uh, if I take this first value, so it is x by 24. This is x cube minus 3x plus 3x square minus of 1. Now we can check about this one. Second derivative of this. This is my x4. What is the second derivative of the x4? If you take what is the second derivative of the x4 is 12 x square. So it will be my 12 x square by 24. This is my uh, x square. What is the second derivative of the x square is 2. So it will be my minus 6 by 24 and so on. Whatever the values are there, whenever you put x is 0, it will never be a 0 due to the presence of this term. It means this option is cancelled out. Look about this. This is x4. What is the second derivative of this is 12 x square by 24. This is now my x cube. What is the second derivative of the x cube is? What is the second derivative of the x cube? This is 6x. So it's a minus of 12x by 24. This is my x, which is second derivative is 0. Now you can see whether it's satisfied. Yes. So it means this is the right answer. Again, you can see that this is not satisfied because of the sign positive. So you can see that this is 12x squared by 24 plus of 6 by 24x. So you can see that at x equal to 0 satisfied but at 1 is not be a 0. It means the right answer is only third. So you can see that there is no need to solve all these conditions are there. You have to look about these options. Look at the last questions are there. Now here uh, there is another condition is given to you that is with respect to the constraints. But while you can see in the in the previous question there is only given about the boundary conditions. You can see there is only boundary conditions. But here there are some constraints are given to you. Whenever there is some constraints, you have to apply the Lagrange function that is L. What is that? You have to apply like this way y dash plus lambda times of this. Now you can apply the Euler condition here. That is a partial derivative of L with respect to y minus d by dx of L with respect to y dash is 0. What is the partial derivative of this with respect to L is here minus d by dx of 2y dash is 0. So 2 will be cancelled out. Lambda y is nothing but my y double dash. Now what are the value of lambda? What is the lambda is now? It's called as the Lagrange multiplier. And there are the three cases, either 0, either greater than 0, either less than 0. So if lambda is 0, what it means has is y double dash is 0. What is that? This is nothing but c1x plus c2x. If you apply these two conditions, what will happen? Y is 0, but these are the non-trivial solutions are there. It means Y is equal to 0 is not possible. So this case is rule out. When Y is greater than 0, it means I can take Y as of N square. So if you substitute here, this is Y double dash minus of the N square Y is 0. So what is that? This is nothing but the simple auxiliary equation. Roots are my plus minus N. So NX plus C2 e raised power minus NX. So if you apply y of 0 is 0, what is the meaning of that? c1 plus c2 is 0, y of pi is 0, c1 e raised to power n pi, c2 e raised to power n pi is 0. What is the meaning of that? Both are 0. Again, this case is not possible. So it means I need lambda is less than 0. I consider this as minus of n square. So y double dash plus n square y is 0. So y is my c1 cos nx plus c2 sin nx. Now clearly sees that when you substitute y of 0 is 0, c1 will be 0. When you take y of pi is 0, then for the non-trivial solution, you must have sin of n pi is 0. It means n is nothing but my k. k is my positive integer. So therefore, what is the y is my c2 sin of k pi. Again, C2 is my unknown which need to be identified. We can substitute this value here. So what is that? This is C2 square is outside 0 to 2 sine square of k pi is my 1. So how you can solve them? You can easily solve this value. It is value is pi pi by 2 as of like here. You can solve it in a simple manner. So the value of the C2 is nothing but my 2 by pi. So what is the y is now you can what you can get is arbitrary constant here. Now the rest of part is what you want to find is you want to find the 
minimum value of this. So you can substitute all these values in the given minimal equations. That is, you can substitute here 0 to y dash. What is the dy by dx is? Root 2 pi pi of k of cos k. This is the x cos k x of dx whole square. So what is that? 2 by pi is common. k square is common. Integration from cos square of kx. What is the integration of the cos square of kx? It's nothing but my pi by 2. So 2 by pi cancel out. It's a k square. So that's the minimum value of the case. What is the minimum value of the case? Since k is my positive integer, so the k minimum value is my 1. So what is the right answer of this problem is by here. So this is the way you can solve this uh, extremal problem. So it may take uh, patients are there when you are solving this uh, some calculations are there we will see some more questions related to the linear algebra calculus and many more are there in our next videos till then you can simply follow this link finding the update videos best of luck students happy learning